Yar indeed, my friends. Yar indeed. And welcome to another episode of whatever this is. What's going on, guys? How is everybody this evening? Welcome to Monday number two, or as we usually know it by the calendar name, Tuesday. So, what's shaking, everybody? We had some interesting things happen last night. Um... Vlad effectively went on a uh, promotional warpath, and um, yeah, yeah, we 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 pushed to the magical number that actually starts us down a particular path. I don't believe it any more than you do. Uh, it's Balderdash, I say, and um, tomfoolery and shenanigans notwithstanding. Um, now we have this little guy right here. This little, this little, little fella. Gonna, gonna just pat him right on the head. And you'll see that it is named the Road to 1K. So, that is our goal. <clears throat> Some way, somehow, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But, once this goal is met, once this actually happens, <clears throat> excuse me, um, there will be an extended weekend stream. Uh, we're off on the road to 1,000. Relic, you're on your very own path yourself, my friend. Uh, Relic has set himself down a rather glorious and wonderful path, which started with, uh, what was it? Was it Tiny Tina's Wonderland that you had originally started with? Or was it Madden? I do not recall. But either way, um, our absolutely and oh so delightful relic, the red-headed cherub that he is, was last seen playing Saints Row. Although that right there does happen to be Tiny Tina's. Um, Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Your, your ever better spin-off of the Borderlands, uh, yeah, Borderlands 3. And I actually learned, Madden, last Thanksgiving was your first, which was very cool. Um, two years ago is when Borderlands 3 actually released, as weird as that is. Um, it seems rather strange, and it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, although... I don't know. It, it, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Your mileage might vary. Uh, that's my only clip. Well, Relic, we're going to have to get to clipping some more clips so we can uh, we can promote you, my dude. Um, so, you know what? If you're not following Relic, you should also probably be following Relic for some rather wonderful and spicy Relicisms and uh, Relevations, if you will. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Jar Strang, what is going on, dude? How is everything? And how is everybody else doing this evening? Petit Druid, it is so delightful to see you pop back in. Um, very cool. I hope you are, in fact, enjoying things. Uh, I wouldn't say festivities as much as uh, random conversation and various other nonsucheries. Um... We do have Fubar, who has popped on in, who has decided that he was going to make all of his co-workers some rather tasty baked goods on his last day. Are, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mount Lion, as always, fantastic. I hope you are well today, my friend. I hope everything is going good. And um, also tons of food talk. Yes, absolutely tons of food talk because we like food here. And Mountain Lion did put a rather tasty-looking picture into the Discord. And I say tasty-looking picture because it's a picture of food. So how can a food picture not be tasty-looking? I defy you to uh, argue with me upon that point. But let's not uh, let's not get there too, too much. Um, but on the subject of SnowRunner... Cheese! Cheese!
Yes. Ease. So Mountain Lion, as I'm trying to approach the subject of SnowRunner for the third time, my friend. Relic? Hell yeah, my dude. I raise my glass to thee. So here's the cool thing. SnowRunner has entered Season 8 onto the public test server. Which means, in approximately two to three weeks, we will actually have SnowRunner. So you guys, you ever eat cheese? Cheese is a funny thing. Cheese is a strange thing. I just wonder, like, what is cheese? Where does it come from? <laughs> the ever so wonderful Charlie Kelly and his cheese. Um, I got to be the nice guy for once. I appreciate that, Relic. I do. I do indeed. Um, yeah, so SnowRunner. Public test server, which means approximately three weeks before we see the release of DLC number eight, which is arming. There are tractors. There is stuff for us to do. And speaking of tractors, we did dip our toes into Farm Simulator 22 uh, last week, which was actually pretty fun and very chill, very laid back, like a really easygoing game. Unlike this, in Skyrim, where we have to punch and murder people who are trying to kill us. And usually that's not a very good thing. We don't like it when people kill us. Or try to kill us. Or really anything like that, for that matter. But that's neither here nor there. I really don't know what I'm doing right now, because it's been a week since I've played this. <laughs> Ever so much the... Uh, <laughs> the issues from revolving games. We're always trying to figure out where the hell did we leave off? What are we doing next? It gets to the root of all those existential questions more so than the who are we? Why are we here? We kind of know that. That part is simply we're thawed out. We're wandering the wasteland and we're trying to find somebody. Mad Viking King! <clears throat> Lurking away. That's another good dude. That is another dude you should absolutely be following as well. Mad Viking King, grade A, top notch, rather wonderful person. Uh, I am in the Commonwealth. I am physically in the Commonwealth. Actually, so if you really want to get super, super meta, this is how meta we're going to get. This guy, this guy right here, he's in the Commonwealth right now. And then this guy... This guy right here is also in the Commonwealth right now, so if that doesn't bust your noodle, I don't know what does. And also, allow me to do a thing, because then you get the little uh, the little notification, the little... Where, where is it? It's somewhere. But we get this. Oh, look, that is a fireside chat with the one and only Mad Viking King. Um, Satisfactory. You know, that is a very interesting game, and it's very, like, technical, and there's a lot of moving pieces there. Um, I don't know if I'd ever get a chance to, like, dive into that, but I like stuff where you you build up, you build bigger. Real-time strategy games were a lot like that, where you would get your base units, you would then start building up, you would start conquering, you would start getting materials, and then, you know... Before you know it, you had the giant uber tank and uh, nuclear capability, but that's beside the point. Commonwealthian in Massachusetts, playing a Commonwealthian in Massachusetts. Yes, you got that right. Um, but speaking of which, we have found ourselves in the 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 location of Good Neighbor. So this is Good Neighbor. And this is where probably the miscreants and ne'er-do-wells tend to gather. But that's okay. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Okay, Except that's fine. I only kill when I want to. <laughs> Who? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. 
Can't you tell? This robot is hilarious. Oh, of course you are. It's just all those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation Assault Run. Designed to provide a variety of security-related <laughs> tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Believe okay. And small business owner. Robot enough <laughs> I like this, this Assaultron. This Assaultron is probably one of the funnier uh, characters in this game. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? Uh, so let's see. What kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Except Robot of depression. the Night Store. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Sure. Let's uh let's let's see what what goods we can trade. Um because I don't know what I'm running low on and I don't even know what caps I have. We do have a oh, we have boxing gloves. We actually picked up boxing gloves. The Furious Power Fist. So the unfortunate thing about this is we can't actually have two melee weapons. Unlike uh, Skyrim, where we can have a melee weapon per hand, we can't have melee weapons in this game, in both hands. Going to get rid of that. Oh, we have a... Do we have multiple miniguns? I don't remember if we have multiple miniguns or not. Sledgehammer. Actually, I think I can convert that into something. Uh, Western Revolver. Reginald Suit. I don't know who Reginald was. Uh, guy, she's talking about the store. <laughs> yeah. The store. Uh-huh. I mean, I could technically pawn off my wedding rings, although I'm not sure... And I don't know why I need a pompadour wig, so let's kind of get rid of that. It's just basically a bunch of crap that we're carrying around that we really, really, really don't need to be carrying around. Um, mostly because I'm a pack rat, and I have a very large inability to not carry all kinds of things around. Let's see what does she have actually what do i have for ammo ammo is kind of a big deal so what do we have for 44s we only have 62 rounds of 44s she's only got 34 rounds of it but this stuff is well that's nah we probably shouldn't be buying ammo Although she does have some 4570, which I think is lever action ammo. And that only comes from... Devastators. Uh, temporary slows time during combat when you are at 20% or less. Reflects 10% of melee damage. Okay, some of the... I'm going to have to figure out which mod it is. And you can actually take the legendary designation from something. A heavy sledgehammer. Wow, that does a lot of damage. Missiles. I really don't need any missiles. Um, Party starter does 50% more damage against humans. Which, if you took that legendary designation and you put that on basically anything else, it's like <laughs> fish in a barrel. Power armor frame. Don't need that. Recoil compensated powerful submachine gun. Ballistic fiber will eventually start using some of this stuff, but this only comes into play when, um, when we get the railroad. Snubnose 44.
Ogremar, how are you doing, my friend? What's going on? How is everything with you today? Hey. Actually, what does what Kate it? have? Time to trade a few things. Kate has a couple of things. But we can't use and you're back. Welcome back. Um we can't really use a lot of the stuff that she has. Um, I like Kate as one of the better followers, although she tends to default to melee combat quite a bit. So... Oh, she's picked up a bunch of stuff. I guess we could technically sell a lot of that stuff. Pipe rifle. Combat shotgun, combat... Oh, that fires 45s? Huh. Is there a... Yeah. Okay. Let's craft some stuff. And by craft some stuff, I mean... Um... Oh, we can't even... So we need... Uh... Wow. Gun nut rank 4. Long barrel. Okay, we at least have that. Sharpshooter's grip, at least we have that. Reflex sight, we have that. I don't think I really need a boxing glove. Unless Kate wants a boxing glove. The minigun I'm going to take back. Um, I don't... I don't... I think we have one. Pretty sure we have one. So we get the Western Revolver, and that's basically the same thing, but it's the base model. What can we do to a... Oh. Okay, we can do a lot. Uh, whenever you get an explosion, double barrel, call it boomstick. Because uh, Evil Dead and what explosive tends to... <laughs> that actually sounds like a party. That sounds like a party. Uh, we need Blacksmith. Blacksmith one rank two. So we'll, we'll take we'll take this thing back. We'll take this thing back as well. I hope you're buying. Even a girl with an arsenal full of weapons needs to make a living out Who this? You know who this is? Excuse me. Hey. You know who this dude is? He's been shadowing us. We ran into him once before so far at Diamond City as one of the guards. He's from the railroad. Hi. Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. Hey. hey. Where's our map? Okay. So we're over in Good Neighbor right now. Yeah, exactly. He's um Crap, what the hell is his name? I can't remember what his name is. But he's, he follows us until we actually get to the railroad. And he kind of becomes a fairly important character. Um, not one I've really used extensively, but that's beside the point. <clears throat> all right, store all junk. So we just dumped 60 pounds worth of garbage right in there. Um... Sturgis, what are you doing? Man, where'd your legs go? Why you gotta be like that? So, two of those. Okay. Now, what we are, in fact, going to store is the minigun. I want to hang on to the minigun. This, uh, wow. Actually, we've got over a thousand rounds of five millimeter, which is what the minigun uses. Uh, store that, store that, store that. And, yeah. Okay. So, I forget how we actually use... the legendary designations. Okay. Exit. 
squad be here. Proxima Centauri. Dude, gifting out a tier one sub to Don2. Thank you very much, my friend. How are you doing this evening? What's good? What's new? What's shaking? That's her. Uh, we also, so we wanted to also transfer over, where'd it go? So we want to transfer over, that only weighs one pound, weighs five and a half. Do that. Fragmentation grenades, half a pound. So we've got eight pounds of fragmentation grenades. What do we have for apparel? Yeah, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, you don't have no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan did not, in fact, have any legs. We'll keep those patrolman sunglasses because they don't actually weigh anything. Um, Reginald suit adds three charisma. That's kind of huge. And we've managed to get the Silver Shroud costume at, uh, we have a spare tuxedo if we wish. Like, I, I, I keep kind of taking everything. I take everything. I don't leave it alone. Preston Garvey. You are assigned to the doodad over here to protect this place. And if you are not in the right place, I just can't help you. Also, we had started working on our little, uh, go sign resource is now assigned yeah we start working on our little fence thing right here um basically this will kind of protect us a little bit you ain't got no legs lieutenant dan it is amazing to see what one character out of a movie um did for gary sinise's <laughs> gravy more like lazy I, you know, Preston Garvey really is annoying. Preston Garvey is one of the more annoying characters that we have to deal with, which is unfortunate because he's, he's one of the ones who basically lead us on most of the stuff. Uh, don't know what to play, so I'm just sitting here watching you play games. Well, uh, perhaps you will get some motivation by hanging out here and... Uh, Actually, are you on the PlayStation? You're on the um, you're on the Xbox. You're on the Xbox. I downloaded just the other day. I got Mech Warrior Five Mercenaries, and I also got a little game called Astroneer because it reminded me a little bit of No Man's Sky. And if you if you like games where you explore, you harvest minerals, you do a bunch of different things like that. Um. Astroneer is actually a lot of fun. Uh, it's this strange little tiny game, and it's it's a fun little game to play. What are you doing, dude? What are you? And here is the here is the settler who took the armor off of excuse me one of the raiders that tried to. Uh, Attack our settlement. Let's see what you got. Great. Uh, do we have anything else? No, we don't have any other various bits and pieces of cool armor. All right. I don't know what time it is either. Oh, good. Our room. So it's gonna get it's gonna get darker. So why don't we just sleep for 12 hours? It'll restore our health, and then we will... Yeah, because we got rid of the radiation. Well, that's a good thing. Uh, we won't be sick from radiation. And, oh... Crap. Mama Murphy's waiting there for us to give her some drugs. We're not gonna give in to her, uh... Drug-fueled frenzy. This is a plasma storm. This is just... This is when the doom music starts playing. <laughs> uh, but we needed to go to... 
good neighbor. Make sure we don't have any other bits and pieces that we need to transfer out of here. Store that stuff. Miscellaneous. Uh, get rid of the gourd because they weigh one pound a piece. Store the irradiated blood. Cherry. Any of the Nuka stuff, eventually it becomes useful somewhere along the lines. Sweet roll. And did you know that on 1225, in-game Diamond City Hill have crisp... Yeah, um, there is Christmas decorations in there. All right, so here's the cool part. We have now finally reduced the amount of garbage that we are carrying. Um, which is difficult. What's your plan in Fallout? Which faction do you go with? What type of play style does your character go with? Um, I still like... So, I like sniper weapons in this. And stealth and sniper weapons have always been kind of the hand-in-hand -hand sort of thing. Um, I think I went with... I don't know if I went with the Minutemen or I went with the Railroad the last time, but I do remember destroying um, the Institute and I remember destroying the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, your power armor suits look like dejected queuing... <laughs> they're, they're just so unhappy. They're just... They're all unhappy. Their their heads are down. They're just kind of, and this one, um, it's all stolen. <laughs> like they're in a four hour queue for a roller coaster. Oh, dude, I can't even imagine waiting in line for four hours for like a five minute ride. Like it, it just it's painful to think about when you really kind of consider it. Or at the DMA. healing. We can make a stim pack. We can make three stim packs. Okay. We can make some mines, syringer ammo, traps, uh, cutting fluid. Cutting fluid gives us three oil, which is super useful. Uh, go, don't go to the UK theme parks. Oh, man. You're going to a concert today, Brady. What concert are you going to, man? it now let's find our way back to good neighbor because we got to go talk to uh kent conley we need to find kent conley and what kind of music wow this place is a shite hole all right. So no radiation. That's a plus. Uh, I don't know what ever... See, there's this guy. There he is again. Rifter. What's everybody doing? Where are they going? All right, all right. We're getting off track. What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? The third rail. Uh, been trying out season eight on the public test server. So far, seems nice. That is awesome. Mountain Lion. I am really looking forward to it. I am very excited about it. Very, very excited about more DLC for that game. That's right. Who said that? Come up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. Get a couple new vehicles. I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass. Is farming the main focus, or is there lots of trucking content we're used to? That is a very good question. Um, because with the previous one, farming is the theme. Was that you stumbling out of the third rail last night? We all know who's behind that kind of shit. 
the, there he is, Mr. The railroad person. I go with the Institute or the Brotherhood most of the time in power armor and heavy guns. I I definitely want to get more uh, cool. I, I used to collect power armor in one of my last playthroughs, and I just had power armor stacked to the hilt. And, oh, where'd you come from? Oh, she quick. She's super quick. Uh, I actually have a location that we can go to. Should be hauling cargo as well. You know what? Um, the fact that the new Season 8 has four separate maps that they have advertised is kind of a big deal because I don't think we have had four separate maps since... Since Amor? Yep, Deacon. That's his name. Thank you very much. I keep forgetting his name. Uh, there's still warehouses on the first map. I'm excited. I am I am legitimately excited. And if you saw anything uh, from the SnowRunner Discord, apparently one of the lead designers had mentioned a bunch of stuff about the memory den. Um... Mentioned a bunch of stuff. You're blocking my light, man. <laughs> Neighborhood watch. Oops, sorry. Sorry, my bad. Um, Buddy, I gotta be a lot more high or a lot Captain more Cosmos right had mentioned a bunch of stuff about potentially there being a year three. Because we haven't got any information about a year three for SnowRunner at all. So... We're kind of up in the air about that. Oh, don't steal cigarettes. Don't want to do that. Nuka Cola. See, look at that. Look at that. There he is again. There's Deacon. Aiden. Aiden right there. I think you've stepped into the wrong place, sweetheart. You don't look like you need the memory den. Do you even uh, know what you do here? Something about memories? Glad to meet someone who pays attention to the name. That's right. We let you relive the past. Now, I hate to turn such a clever boy away, but we aren't accepting new clients right now. The memory den. You're cautious. I respect that. But I think I can handle it. If this place comes into play much well, later on. No right, exactly. There's a hint of now, year three, but no confirmation up till now. So it's not concrete, but there is potential for it. Um, where basically one of the lead programmers had said, this is our best yet to date. So... The way that he phrased it led people to believe that there is additional stuff coming down the pipeline. Right, sit down in the lounger. Let's see what memory we can find. Uh, the memory den. Sit in the memory lounger. Um, we're not, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do that just yet. We're gonna go talk to, uh, knock over that little cardboard cutout. You're not Irma. Knock this stuff down. Bunch of... Bunch of gangsters. There we go. Aha! Ha! Ah. There's your silver shroud. Hello, Kent! Hi. Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worst. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. This, this guy's pretty there. cool, though. This guy is pretty cool. But, but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? The Silver ah, Shroud. The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. Vault Tech Calling. I was in storage for a long time. 
I only just woke up. That's that's kind of like uh, that's kind of like Boston Calling, except you know. Wasn't he a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. Harbor. The world they found him off the harbor. Used to it. <laughs> it seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? With his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun. I got a plan to bring him to life. So we can fight bad guys. That's the vault tech salesman? This better. guy right here? <clears throat> Good on you for trying to make the world better. He looks similar to him. I think the vault tech salesman... The vault tech salesman never made it into the vault. So he was selling space inside of the vault, but he never actually made it into the vault. Silver Shroud costume or sell? And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I might do it if you make it worth my while. I can give you some caps up front. Just promise you'll help me. Oh, yeah. As it happens, <laughs> I have your costume. There's that is Kent, him? Kent Conley? The, posters. the Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? Here's some memorabilia. Else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. you go after all these years the silver shroud is oh he took the silver shroud photo as just well one problem i'm just not silver shroud material i could be Rhett reinhardt the salesman is in the hotel next to the memory den Blake, but the shroud is strong capable come on don't sell yourself short i got a better idea who should wear it you up for being the silver shroud you already got your own Am I up for everything. being the Silver Shroud? Come on now. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. Oh, this is cool. May be able to scrounge up a couple of things. Yeah, I didn't think that that guy was still alive. Um like <clears throat> shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbors' streets and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here's Okay, so reduces damage from humans by 15%. Take Some that. Calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows... Leave a calling shot. card after I dispatch Time justice. People can survive a nuclear bomb by becoming ghouls. Yeah, and then they basically go on to pretty much live forever. Can't take that. Okay. Door. Ow. Do, 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 do. Okay. So let's go be the Silver Shroud. Let's go dispense some justice. Um, let's also quick save. The, the entirety of the ghoul's physiology is very strange because you have the regular ghouls and then you have... The, my bad, uh, and then you have the feral ghouls. You look just like Sammy too. Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they. A synth component. In this we need to put on the silver shroud uh, apparel. Silver shroud armor, effectively. I mean, it's not too bad. But and then the hat. You do the hat. Uh, for weapons, do we have a weapon? Yeah, the silver submachine gun. Town, they got another thing coming. What am I gonna tell his mother? I ain't just your friendly neighborhood walk. Oakley, Dad, Diddly Oakley. <clears throat> that a silver shroud costume? <laughs> a ghoul would be a great name for a band or a streamer. <laughs> Cryptid Tales, how are you doing, my friend? What's good? Uh, remember, the more human ghouls are, human in between zombie and not uh, not quite feral ghouls are just zombies. 
They are very much zombies. That is, that is quite true. Oh yeah, we need to turn on the radio, I think. Silver Shroud Radio. Uh, the feral ghouls were normal ones, but the radiation destroyed their brain over time. It is the sad fate of every ghoul one day. Kill Wayne Delancey? All right, where am I going? All right. Let's see what's going on over here? No brain, no pain. Fancy duds. Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. I'm gonna take all that guy's stuff before you do. Rumor is you killed Miss Selmy. Is that true? Selmy? Yeah, I killed the bitch. And her whelp, too. Shouldn't have wow. bothered they barely had two caps between them. This guy's kind of a jerk. Lights out, pal. What? You mess with me. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, whoa. Get him, Kate. Oh boy, oh boy. Kate, kill him. <laughs> you learn that in the hollow tape in the Nuka world. Oh, that's right. Um I'm gonna bring on the pain. Okay. A uh, muzzled powerful sniper rifle. Okie dokie. And then we have to leave a calling card. Perfect. Um, okay. So we burned through a ton of ammo right there. That was an obscene amount of ammo. Also, we should probably eat something before we die. Are you going to do the Thomas and Martha Wayne death scene next? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. Inventory. There we go. What? You need something to take the edge off? Right Excuse me. I've got a reason to be bothered. Hey. Uh, you take I just had to shoot up myself. What? You drive? Head over to the third rail. Hate the institute. <laughs> So basically, I guess we gotta wait for. Oh, how do we get this? The road to free. How the hell did we just get the road to freedom? I'm here if you want help, Jimmy and Matt open. Deal with AJ. I'm not. I'm not hearing anything from the radio, so it's basically just kind of like, yep, all right. Oh, yeah, you know what we should do, too? We should quick save, because we usually tend to die. AJ's connected with powerful friends. Don't be a sap. Hello. <clears throat> Play nice. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Oh? You, AJ, the dealer who sells to children? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> entrepreneur. I'm entrepreneur. Chems for kids, I call it. Cherry flavored jet. Road to freedom Red given by overhearing a conversation as well as holotape. Uh, James Hook, thank you very much for that. Peddling poison. Um, I didn't even hear anything Today, about that conversation, so I probably just passed by someone who was uh, talking. <laughs> Who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about <laughs> these poor little kids. I like how everybody looks yeah, at us right? like we have Tell ten heads what? and we're just I'll an idiot. You. 
let's say 50 caps just to shut up about it. And uh, maybe get Kent off my back, all right? For 50 caps? No way. All right, fine. Make we're going to try to extort him out of more caps, and then we're going to kill him. A lousy 25 caps more? Are you trying to insult me? You? Shaking me down? Wasting. Oh boy. Oh boy. She just messed that dude up. And I don't even know if I'm hitting any. I really don't. Uh, <laughs> Mopar fan, what's going on, man? How is everything? Uh, that guy probably would sell uh, jewels if he. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait. You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna. Okay, so we're gonna kill that guy. Uh, we're gonna die. Uh, we're not gonna die. Sean Bergen, what is good? Just playing Saints Row. How are you enjoying Saints Row? Take that and. There we go. Leave the calling card. So we did... Uh, wait a minute. Transfer... Oops, we might have blown past it. Uh, good code 4. Beat it already. Playing it again. Holy crap. How long is Saints Row? Go all the way down here for Silver Shroud Calling Card. Her. Perhaps it's under this. Silver Shroud Calling Card. Okay. Hey, you. Looking for work? Hello. Depends on what kind of work. You'll never find a more fair and honest job. Saints Row 2 and 4 are the real deal. You played all of them? I haven't played a Saints Row game, though. You're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? Okay. You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. I'm in. All right. That's what I like to hear. Let's go inside. Whoa. I'll give you the lowdown. The big dig. Meet Bobby inside. Okay. I won't exactly deal with that right now. Take all his stuff. Uh, where else are we supposed to go? I forgot what we were doing. Saints Row 1 is old school, like the real OG era. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Silver Shroud. Talk. Uh, oh, put calling card on AJ's body. That's what we... I thought we did that. For some reason, it wasn't cooperating. Transfer. Miscellaneous. Silver Shroud calling card. Uh, played them all. Two is the best. The new one is second best, my opinion. Really? Okay, so the new one is actually... Uh, that's not working. So we're going to reload that real quick. Also, I seem to think that realistically... That's 653. Yeah, let's load this one. All fun in their own way, but uh, that's cool, though. At least you're enjoying it, so that's kind of a... Kind of a good thing. And you know what we're going to do? We are not going to use this gun because this gun is doing no damage in our hands. Uh, so why don't we use 
something else. This is 47. This is 39. 32. Yeah, these are only 10. Uh, just starting to play Fallout 4 again. Awesome. Very, very cool. I am glad that you found something to jump into. So are you going to go with the power armor and all the cool fancy weapons and everything else? The fact that you can make power armor stealth power armor is also really funny. You know what? We're going to use this bad boy for now. Keep your hands where I can see them. Hey there. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call him. I, I don't like what this guy has to say to us. I need to play some Fallout, but I heard a new game called Metro, some Russian nuclear game survival. Um, yeah, Metro... There's a bunch of Metro games. There is a bunch of Metro guy. games, so can we move and it's, uh... Already? You, AJ? The dealer who sells to children? Yeah, that's me. I'm, uh, entrepreneur. There's a book series written about them. There's a lot of stuff about Fallout. Um, or not Fallout, uh, Metro. Metro, Last Light. Um, uh, might be mistaken as far as new goes. There, it's, um, it's a series of them. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today, you face the Silver Shroud. Uh, oh, he does. <laughs> Who you say? But somehow, uh, well, I think there's a there there is a Fallout show or a movie that's actually in development. Power armor and Fat Man plus rocket launcher and minigun. That's my style. That is, you are an individual who will lay waste to damn near anything. The only time that I find power armor super super useful is when you improve your um, like the life of the fusion batteries. So, Fallout. Um, Stop selling to children. You've got Fallout the show, or I don't know if it's a, a series. I think it's a series. But then you've also got Twisted Metal, which wrapped up principal photography. Ooh. 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 Oh boy. Aha! Uh oh. Whoa! Um. <laughs> so it's a show. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm actually kind of really excited about it. It it seems like it is going to be very cool. Oh shoot. All right, so that's one guy. Ooh, that's another. Okay. I have a mod for realistic fusion cores. What does that do? Does it make them, like, last a lot longer? Also, the only mod that I saw that was actually really, really neat for, um, like, power armor was the one that, um, your jetpack... Your jetpack actually functioned really effectively. Don't leave anything behind that might be useful. Okay, so that was all right, that worked. So we had to put the card on. I've been so busy, I didn't even see you on. Well then. Don't have the key. So. Huh. Knock, knock. Talk with Whitechapel Charlie. Uh, they last five times longer like a nuclear battery. Yeah, I don't like how short the lifespan is on those things. And it just, it just doesn't work effectively for me. And it made, like, 
Here's the thing about Fallout 4 and power armor. In one of the very first missions in the game, you are given a, a set of power Hello, armor Kuzmir. and... You! How about that? <laughs> you're given a set of power armor, you're given a minigun, and in, you fight one of the toughest character or creatures in the game right off the bat. And it doesn't really effectively work super well because here you are and you have like this ultimate power fantasy kind of thing where you're given the best right out of the gate. And it kind of sours everything after that. You know, it, it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Cigarettes. Cigars, cigarettes. Crash can. Hello, Magnolia. Talk to McCready. For you, Edward Deegan. I'd like to see what's on tap. Good man. All right. What do we got? We got a shipment of glass, rad scorpion eggs. We got some stuff. He doesn't really have a whole hell of a lot to barter with. We need to have a conversation. I'm listening. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what for I some reason, he's got a jawline like Bruce thing. Campbell. So kind of like real life where it doesn't make sense. Yeah, basically. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. By okay. Way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need That's to talk Edward to Edward Deegan. First. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful Jack like that. Cabot. Come to the Cabot House in Beacon Hill. And the Cabot House. Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Okay. Nope. This is all right. We we're getting all kinds of cool stuff. Drifter, drifter, that stuff, drifter, 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 okay, let's quick save real quick, uh, that guy could use some sun cream, yeah, he's been out a little bit too long in the sun, kind of dried up like a, like a California raisin. I like the fact that this dude is wearing a bowler hat. It's kind of cool. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house? You got to have finesse to be an assassin. Kendra's a murderer. A very skilled murderer. Listen, mate. That's why I use power armor and heavy guns. Everything else is just not power. No, it's not. Um, it's kind of funny. It is not wise to stand this particular playthrough in Skyrim. My playthrough there and this playthrough, everything seems to be hitting a little bit harder, taking a bit more in the in the way of bullets to put stuff down. I don't. I don't think I have anything different for. Difficulty levels, but I don't know. All right, kill Kendra. All right, so that was Whitechapel Charlie. Where's Kendra? Hey, Silver Shroud. Come Excuse on. me, Miss Magnolia. What's the matter, Handsome? You don't tell me you didn't like the song. I love the song. I think the song wasn't the only thing you were enjoying. Oh, well, thank Kate you. Kate getting jealous. Whoa. Hmm. Now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Hmm. I think I know a fella will come over when I see one. You're good with your words. Know just the right thing to say at the right time. So what brings a man like you to my part of town? I don't know. I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer. 
I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do? Um, well, here's an opportunity for experience points. Let's see if we fail. Uh, what's your story? How'd you end up singing here? Oh, I flew into town like any songbird does on a heavy wind with a wounded wing. <laughs> this place has a stage I needed to sing. The only thing is, I think we need significantly higher um, charisma to actually get anywhere with really anybody. Whitechapel Charlie's been here a long time, I take it. He never talks too much about his past. <laughs> Neither do I, really. I guess that's why we get along. You should get to know him, though. Order a drink first. He always wants to talk business after someone's had a few. And was that all? You need anything else? Come on. Huh. Tell me the whole story. Who were you before all this? You really want to know? It's all in the songs. Everything I am. Now, can I help you with anything else? All in the song. I wouldn't mind hearing a different song. A good musician listens to her audience. How about this one? Running from something? <laughs> Welcome home. All right. Stay free, man. Oi, we got beer. You ain't buying beer. You ain't buying. Okay. Let me think it over. Bottles meant for drinking, not looking. <laughs> Charlie. This guy's kind of a jerk. What a regular. Well, the beer still tastes the same. Like okay. I'll take a look. Sure. Nothing watered down. All right. Have a beer. Okay. I will buy the beer. For you. I need a dirty boy to do some dirty, dirty work. Okay. Blood on the pavement, bodies in the ground, that kind of thing. I'm listening. Sounds up my alley. Sure, why not? We can, we can do that. Paying top dollar for a cleanup job. Three locations. Everyone inside. No witnesses. Only catch. It's all in town. The old warehouses, so I can't use my regulars. Too noticeable. Okay, so he wants us to be let the, the cleanup guy, is what it is. Payment after it's done. Uh, bit of a glass cannon. I can put out a lot of damage, but take practically none without power armor. <clears throat> Three locations? That's a lot of time. I like power armor in this, and I really especially like the X1 power armor, which... I don't do work unless I know who's paying the bills. Let's see. Oh, we managed. It's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Internal Mayor Hancock is funding the scrubbing of certain individuals here. Okay, we can do that. I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some air. All right, clear out the good neighbor warehouse. Let's get on that, because that sounds like a party. Um, and the fact that it is sanctioned by Hancock is pretty cool. Knock, knock. Anything in here? Nope. All right. Oh, there's a new Coca-Cola. Uh, we would be stealing it if we did. That is unfortunate. Nothing over there. Okay. All right. Nope, that's fine. That's fine. So let's go take out... And you know what we are going to do? Um, Proxima Zentari, because you had mentioned it and because you were talking about power armor... I think we're going to try to get the X1 power armor. We are legitimately going to try to to get the X1 power armor early in the game because there is a way to do that. 
Special Delivery, Talk to Jack Cabot, Road to Freedom, Memory Den, Quarter Mastery, Gav Silver Fox. What is going on? How have you been doing? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Kill Kendra. Where is Kendra? Kendra is, in fact, in Good Neighbor. She's outside of Good Neighbor. And then we have... Pool of the Commonwealth. That's it. Clear out good neighbor warehouses. Um, Is that the suit that's locked away at the top? Yes, it is. That is exactly the one. I've been good, been doing some Amazon shopping. Amazon shopping is not a bad thing. I was looking at Jeep bumpers. Which Jeep bumper to buy? In the Glowing Sea is one complete set of X1, but hard to get. Yeah, Glowing Sea is utterly brutal. Glowing Sea is a very, very difficult place to navigate. Um, it is expansive. Eat that. Let's try to break in here. Uh, bought movie posters and fucking friends pop vinyls. I love pops. I absolutely love pop figures. Um... We were actually discussing pop figures, and we were talking about an Edgar Allan Poe pop figure yesterday. Uh, pop figures are so damn cool. But yes, after this, let's try to get the X1 power armor. Alright, so we've got... 38 rounds in this bad boy. <laughs> Shit, where'd that, come from? that guy went down like a ton of bricks. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with you. Uh anything good? Oh, we can't we can't take anything. I've spent a lot of money on Necromunda Warhammer scenery stuff recently. I've banned myself for a while. <laughs> That's awesome. That's actually really funny. Uh, you get Ross and Rachel set, Joey and Phoebe and Chandler and Monica for 10 for each set. That's actually not bad, all things considered. Uh, usually, in the states here, we tend to get um, each pop figure is some... Oh, crap. I missed. Uh, each pop figure is, is close to, like... Thir ah, damn it. Like, close to $13 a piece. Alright. There we go. We're gonna take all of this crap from these guys. I have a massive, massive pop collection. It is, it's kind of ridiculous how many pop figures I have. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three. Leaving so soon. I was just starting to admire you. So that's forty right there. That's another forty-eight, fifty. Probably close to sixty pop figures. Uh, plus brought a central perk travel mug. Okay. Ah, we're carrying too much weight. So, Coward. Knew you didn't why is this that. stuff marked? Yeah, we're going to take it anyways. Because they're trying to kill me. So therefore, all bets are off. Yeah, I've probably got something in the neighborhood of 60 pop figures. Hello, I'm in the same boat as yesterday. Are you doing any better? Uh, what's up? Oh, sure. Make me carry more of your junk. Yes. Carry more of my junk, please. That is a pretty hefty sniper rifle. So that's 15 pounds right there. 
Submachine guns are 12.7 apiece. All right, so she can carry a bunch of that stuff. Uh, movie poster wise, I brought Jaws, Pulp Fiction, Back to the Future, Blade, uh, Blade Runner, and Breakfast Club, along with the. Oh, dude! So are those like the really? Those are the big, big ones, right? Uh, the the ones that you would see at an actual movie theater, because that's cool. Throat is 50-50, but I'm starting to sweat up a storm, and temperature has gone up to 99.6. Well, uh, King Trucker, keep an eye on things. <clears throat> I think the the Friday the 13th one, uh, which we had established was from 2009, uh, that is a double-sided movie poster that I got. And I don't think it's gigantic, gigantic, but it's pretty decently sized. Ooh, pop, pop. There you are. Wait. All right, he's up there. Dirty rats, making me jumpy. A baby rattle? Why does he have a baby rattle? That's fine. We're definitely gonna sell. Oh, missiles. Gonna definitely take those missiles, too. Blast Radius board game. Um, I am keeping an eye on stuff and wearing masks everywhere I go to be safe, especially if it's contagious. Good call. Good call. I like this gun. We go through way too much ammo, and it is super powerful. Oh, that dude just had his head completely ruptured. I love collecting movie stuff. I have around 30 pops. I, I am a huge fan of pop figures. I am a huge, huge fan of pop figures. I got... So, anything else in here? Sharpshooter's Western Revolver. We'll definitely take that. Is there nobody else in here that I need to kind of kill? Go down there. Your Adam did. Do you have any signed pop figures? you doing I have um, probably one two three four five six seven eight I've got about eight signed um Adam West is a fantastic character absolutely fantastic character Nita so let's see if Clear out the good neighbor warehouses. Oh, there's more than one. Uh, I think I might have caught it from a friend. Almost everyone in my group, uh, my friend group, has been getting sick. Yeah, that's what tends to happen, unfortunately. I have the set from Tommy Boy. That's my favorite movie of all time. Tommy Boy's an awesome movie. Tommy Boy is such an awesome movie. Okay. Uh, almost same symptoms. Yeah, hey, pop figure. So here's the thing. Um, having a... Having a picture to sign is cool, but you somehow need to display it somewhere. Somehow, some way, you need to... You need to show it off. You need to put it in a frame. You need to put it somewhere. Pop figures have just become so easy to get signed, to display, to put out, to, to put on a shelf. You don't have to hang it on a wall. Significantly easier to display than 
like anything else. Uh, mine are Adam West signed, Mark Hamill, and Howard the Duck. Dude, that's cool. Holy crap, that's cool. I have Mick Foley. I have uh, the Jay Garrett, which is um, John Wesley Shipp, who actually was the original Flash on, I think it was Fox, and then they brought him back for the current um, Fox show, or uh, the, the current Flash show. Uh, Jack Harkness. I have Swamp Thing and Jason Voorhees, and I have The Mountain. And then I've got a bunch of art pops that were done by Guy Gilchrist. So I have the Jim Henson pop, and I actually have a Bro Thor, and I've also got a Captain America with a Kermit. Um, I got a Foreigner disc I got signed by the new and original singer. I don't let anyone touch it. That's cool, though. That's really cool. That's, that's, all, uh, that's honestly neat. That's really, really, really neat. Oh, that's another warehouse. Okay. Um, hello. I wish to sell you things. Please. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. No, that's cool. I lo so some people don't really have any kind of interest in like signed memorabilia. I think it's pretty cool. I I personally think it's kind of neat to have something. Um, I go to these conventions and I take pictures and. You're getting that signed Saturday? Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. That's too cool. I forgot, but I also need to meet my favorite truck driving YouTube. Uh, I got to meet my favorite truck driving YouTube a couple of years ago. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Let's sell some weapons. Sharpshooters Western. So that does 75 damage. I'm probably going to keep that. Those are 47 apiece. Okay. Sigourney Weaver is... Uh, is that the convention? Dude, that's so cool. That is so cool. Uh, I was going to ask him to sign something, but he had to hurry to drop off a load. That's cool, though. That's still pretty neat, though. That's still actually really neat. All right, Kate, where'd you go? I need the stuff that you're carrying. Oh. Hello, Kate. Oh, there you are. Hey. Um, yeah. sure. So here's, <laughs> unfortunately, so Granite State Comic Con. Granite State Comic Con takes place in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. I think it's Manchester. Or it's either Manchester or it's Nashua, New Hampshire. But with Granite State Comic Con, Doug Jones is going to be there. Mick Foley is going to be there. Except here's the thing. Granite State Comic Con takes place the exact same weekend that the New Hampshire Highland Games takes place. So I already am committed to the Highland Games, and I'm very much looking forward to the week away. Like, I've already got money out there for it and everything. Um, Ron Perlman, oh, man, he is an awesome actor. He is 100% an awesome actor. that uh combat shotgun take that and take those all right let's go it's a handshake is a good thing haven't washed my hand for <laughs> oh that's funny no but at least you get to meet him uh talk about bad timing what's up loader um have you seen the cat memes with him yes yes i have Ron Perlman is a fantastic actor. Ron Perlman is also just a, a really decent, like, vocal human being about what he thinks is right and wrong. And he's very matter-of-fact about... Um, oh, yeah, it's... I mean, it's not bad timing as much as there is stuff going on, and unfortunately I won't be able to... Pick, I, I have to pick one or the other. Uh, okay. Muzzled, powerful sniper rifle. Uh, that takes 44 rounds, so we want to buy some 44 Leo, rounds. I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protection, so down to earth, yeah. 
not pleasant. Let's see what you have. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Yeah, dude, I would love to meet Mick Foley. The only reason I have a signed pop figure from Mick Foley is he did a um, he did a private signing. So you actually either chose from a list of things that they had, like uh, posters and figures, and you can have him sign it and personalize it, or you sent something in, in included with uh, what color pen you wanted him to sign it with, and they actually sent you a a picture, a digital picture, of him signing your item. So it was actually really kind of cool. Very, very kind of cool. It is four pounds of fragmentation mine. So we're going to... Okay, she does have 44 rounds. Sell that. Sell that. And... Those. Okay, so we want the 44s, because this thing is dumb powerful. Alright, and it's only going to cost us 17 caps. Hell yeah, I bought a Terry Funk shirt, and he signed it. Ah, oh, that's cool. That That is so cool. I met um, the dude who played Eddie Munster at one of the last... Com so, the dude who played Eddie Munster, I also... Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, that's been all over um, social media, Loader. Um, yeah, she's starting on the 6th. Let's see. And she's actually doing several hours, not just one hour at a time. All right, what are we down to for weight? We are at 107, okay. All right. Okay. So we go to the second warehouse here. Sneak in. Uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake actually shows up around this area uh, because I believe he's local. <clears throat> I think he actually works for the MBTA, believe it or not. But he also does signings. He goes all over the place. Um, I have been holding off on... I've seen the characters, and I've seen a little bit of... The the acting. Um, I'm gonna wait until I see the show. I want. I'm genuinely curious about the new monster show by Rob Zombie. Um, also, we need to level up. We have armorer, but we've also got gun nut. We want gun nut. No requirements not met. God damn it. We need to be level 25. Crowbar and. David Flair were great. You met one of your wrestling heroes. Oh, 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 that's awesome, dude. That is so cool. Is science. So we can't do science. Uh, locksmith we could do. Armor. Yeah, we let's... Blacksmith. We do need blacksmith. We actually do need blacksmith. Do blacksmith, and then we'll do armorer next. Um, I think monsters will have potential. I'm a sad Wookiee. I'm very curious. I really would like to see what it's going to be. I want. I'm. I'm genuinely curious about where it's going to go. I think Rob Zombie has enough passion for the projects that he's involved in, not to let them. But like everybody wants to uh, dog on the the Halloween movies, but I think he, he approached it from a different angle. He really kind of gave it a different kind of feel and vibe, so... Um, he still wrestles on the indies. A lot of those big-name wrestlers, or a lot of the wrestlers that were in the big productions, always find themselves in a lot of the indie stuff as well. Uh, I think it is... Is it a movie, or is it a series? See, I've I've not paid enough attention to not even know <laughs> like like what what am I what am I gonna be watching? Alright, so these guys are Alright. See about taking these dudes down. Ha 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 ha.
Oh, this guy's gonna walk by. Um... No, I have not had an opportunity. Like, I still need to finish Ms. Marvel. And I don't think Ms. Marvel gets nearly... Ms. Marvel gets so much grief that it's not warranted. Like, Ms. Marvel is actually a really good show. And the family dynamic with Ms. Marvel is really well. Um, Demolition and Rock and Roll Express still wrestle here and there. Yes, yeah, see, uh, Relic is our absolute wrestling aficionado. Relic knows everything when it comes to wrestling. Uh, Miss Marvel was enjoyable. Yes, exactly. So I honestly think, and, and what I wanted more out of Miss Marvel was the, the family. Oh, crap. Oops, I'm a sad Wookiee. Thank you so much for the follow, my friend. Really appreciate that. Oh, crap. Oh, get out of the way. Hey. Oh, we got him. We totally got him. Um, I think Ms. Marvel had a really great family dynamic. The family wasn't... And, and the way that they actually went back and forth, the way that they, they kind of... They were very much a real family. And it was cool. It was really, really cool. And it was funny. Like, the, the, the brother was funny. The mother was protective. The father tried to, you know... They all tried to understand one another but the cultural rift between them really made it difficult and i think i've only got like one or two episodes left and i really have to finish it because i personally thought it was a a good solid show um the powers were a bit hokey the the drama of the, you know, the, the enemies in it were kind of weird, but, you know, what can you do? On a stick. Oh, what the... Too many mannequins. Too many mannequins. But I will eventually want She-Hulk, um... Regardless if a show is good or bad, I still want to be able to sit down, watch it, and draw my own conclusion. I'd very much like to draw my own conclusion. No, Kate, what are you doing? Kate always in the way. All right, so we're gonna steal all these. We're gonna steal all these rows. Um, she Hulk was so good so far. Okay. Five pipe rifle. More jet. There's a lot of jet. You guys are all about the jet. Pack of duct tape. Definitely taking that because that stuff is useful as hell. Um, the the interesting thing though with She Hulk is I don't know. She really wasn't a prolific character in a lot of stuff. Uh, in rooms with that much mannequins, I always throw an explosion. Oh, oh. Okay, you you want to see a little uh, little pop pop fizz fizz? All right, where'd they go? Where did the mannequins go? And we're gonna hopefully make sure that Kate does not get in the middle of this stuff. All right, fragmentation grenade. <laughs> oh my goodness! Look at him. Look at them. Oh, they're all parts and pieces. They're all parts and pieces. <laughs> 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 
That was a genius idea. <laughs> that was a brilliant idea. <laughs> oh, man. We are like children. <laughs> uh... <laughs> we are so like children. You're gonna drag that junk around. Yes, I'm gonna drag that junk around, Kate. Kate doesn't like it when I pick up anything. I'm a Batman and Superman nerd, uh, more or less, but enjoy most things super... Yeah, exactly. Um, I have friends who really didn't think too highly of the turn that Thor took after Thor Ragnarok. My right arm, it started to hurt today, and it's bad that I have to push down to make it not hurt, and it just comes at random. What do you mean it hurts like that? That doesn't sound good. But, like... Um, Batman, Superman, all that stuff is fantastic, you know? I like superhero movies, um, some a lot more than others. Alright, where else are we going here? Oh, there's another warehouse over here. Jesus. There are so many warehouses. We're just, we're just clearing out warehouses is what we're doing. Uh, let's have ourselves eat some food. Okay, we'll just, we'll just pop down one of those bad boys. Alright. Sneak on in. But, like, there is something to be said for superhero movies. It is... <laughs> Loot mania, brother! <laughs> I... I feel like Got it. superhero tales and superhero like fiction Sneak deck. Tractor man, what is going on, dude? How are you doing? Got you. Oil cam? I like this gun. This gun is awesome. Ow! But there, there's something to be said for superhero movies. Superhero movies are different than a regular, like, non-biographical, um, fictional tale. It... It just hits different. I was just getting warmed up. Oop. Oop. You lose. Oh boy, come on, hit him. Got gotcha. Yeah. Oh, my God. No, we can't hit the broad side of a barn. Nika Fernandez! Thank you very much, my friend. How are you today? How is everything? What's new? Let's, let's take what we need to take. And then we can get out of here. Um, but, like, superhero movies are almost modern inspirational tales, in a sense. Um, it's potentially our... Our fables, our stories. It's something different, you know? Ooh. Compensated rapid submachine. Okay. Anything in there? Nope. Anything over here? Nope. Oh, what's this? Uh, 
no. Okay. That's fine. All right. So we have eliminated all of the adversaries from the warehouses. Doing good. Was plowing with my IH656, but running out of gas, so I came back home. Anything else planned for the day? I'm sick with fever and cold or flu, but I still went to work. I'm doing pretty okay today. I'm doing pretty okay. It was it was about 90 degrees today. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Or Monday number two, my friend. What's going on? How are you doing? All right, let's go sell some more stuff. And uh, we got to sell stuff. We have to... What else do we have to do? We got to go kill somebody. There, there's a lot of stuff we got to do. I only test the weapons on customers I don't like. I'll take yes, a look. yes, please. Let's browse. Test it on someone who deserved it. Okay. Um, we want to get rid of all of this garbage. Uh, that. Get rid of that. I keep those. Get rid of those. All right. I'm good. Had picture day today. I was dripping out of the wazoo. It is warm today. It is very warm today. What do we got for ammo? Let's look at ammo real quick. 308s, we get 283. Uh, 45s, we've got a lot of 45s. 50 cals. 556, 762s. Electrified serrated Chinese officer sword. Uh, 1K followers means you add a cheesecake button, right? Oh, dude, a cheesecake button would be amazing. That would be wonderful. Uh, thought of you today, Storm. Went and bought a four-pound wheel of Swiss cheese. Well, damn, you better have thought of me, good sir, because that is a mighty large amount of Swiss cheese right there. Feels like it's broken or something. It's got that really sharp feeling pain. Um, have you tried to ice it? Have you tried any kind of Advil or ibuprofen or Tylenol or anything like that? Missiles, missile launchers. Uh, 50 cal party starter. It is $11,000 for the party starter. Power armor frame. 4,600 for the power armor frame. Ugh. Ballistic fiber. How much is ballistic fiber? 1,400 for ballistic fiber. We don't have a lot of shotgun shells, I don't think. No, actually, we do have a lot of shotgun shells. We need some stuff. We need some stuff. Playing Xbox while I wait for it to cool down as well as running out of fuel. The temperature gauge was at 225 when I pulled into the dirt drive. Damn, dude. 308. What do we have for 308s? 308s, we get 283. But we could use more 308s. Do that. And it'll only cost us 42. I used to be an adventurer like you. Then I took an arrow in the knee. <laughs> that's a new one that is a new one I've done ibuprofen it stops uh, but when it stops working it comes right back get checked tomorrow yeah definitely get checked out dude definitely get checked out yeah um, you didn't did you do something to, to potentially break it or like how did that happen All right, let's accept this trade. And I think... All right, we've only got 66 rounds of this, so that's not... Financial District. You broken? Yeah, breaking stuff ain't fun. 
Um, I was on Court Knight's channel the other day, and I was telling him how I broke my wrist on a four-wheeler. And that was an interesting little situation. Nope, haven't done anything. Haven't done hard work for two weeks. Gotcha. Your count is zero. Keep that count at zero. I, I want to see you keep that count at zero. Wasn't there somebody around here that we had to talk to? Or... Let's check the map. Return to Whitechapel, Charlie, or kill Kendra. Where is Kendra? Kill Kendra? Wow. 216. You're, you're, you're a little bit uh, froggy about that there, dude. All right. Fine, fine, fine. We'll go back in good neighbor. I don't know if she's in good neighbor. Hold on. Let's figure this out. Yeah, so I was riding up a rise on a four-wheeler, and you're going to start the a pacifist run. <laughs> okay. So going into the tree line, it was at the very top of the rise. So the shrubs had actually covered over a giant log that was on the left-hand side. So as the wheels of the four-wheeler were going up, I had all my weight over on the bars because I wanted to be able to see above the rise. So I'm standing up on the bars, my, my, or standing up on the foot pegs, my weight are on the bars, and I'm kind of pushing down as I'm going up and over. But what I didn't see was the giant stump, or uh, it was a fallen, it was a big fallen log. The thing did not move whatsoever. And the front wheel... So when the wheel hit, it turned and it jacked the handlebars directly into... So I'm holding the handlebar and it jacked it into my wrist. So what it actually did is the bone that's right in here, it broke that bone. I almost went over the handlebars. So I stopped and I pulled the glove up because I was wearing riding gloves. Pulled the riding glove up and I'm looking at it and... I try to, like, move my hand after I can actually breathe because the pain was so intense. My hand is still moving, so I figure maybe I just sprained it. Maybe I just kind of really hit it really, really hard. So I took the Velcro on the glove, and I tightened it as much as I could because it's got a big Velcro band on the bottom of the glove. And then I tried to make it back to the truck because I couldn't squeeze the... That was the... I think that was a clutch on that, so I can't remember. So I tried to squeeze the handle brake, or the uh, the the handlebar for the for the clutch, and it was intense agony. So I get back, we get everything loaded up, and we head back. And by the time that I had got home, because I had taken the glove off, the only thing that was preventing my hand from swelling was that Velcro band on the glove. I took the glove off. And right after that, my hand blew up like a balloon. So instead of knuckles, instead of having knuckles, I had dimples on the back of my... My hand was so puffy, I had four little dimples across the back of my hand where my knuckles actually had been. Um, I was convinced to, uh, why not go to the emergency room? So I was like, okay, fine. Okay, fine. I went to the emergency room, and there was way too many people in there. Way too many people. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to come back later. My hand is okay enough. Plus the reception... All right, there we go. For some reason, uh, the plug on the 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 USB plug gets kind of weird, and if I bump the USB plug, everything that's plugged into that USB uh, stops working. So the camera and the mic kick out. Breaking your left wrist and having to drive a manual ATV back to the truck, I heard, dude, yeah, dude, yeah. So 
I went to the receptionist, and the receptionist there was a very angry, unhappy individual. I was not very particularly thrilled with dealing with her, so she was snappy. She, like, she snapped at you. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go. See you later. I, I'm, I'm done here. So I went to work the next day because this was on a Sunday. So I went to work the next day. Um, I called my, um, let's see. I called my primary care physician and they got me in later on that afternoon. They checked it out. And then they were like, yeah, you can still move your hand. It should be okay. Like, you can squeeze. Joe Swanson, what is going on? How are you doing? What's happening? How was everything? I was talking about the oh-so-wonderful situation that was just destroying my hand. Rebus, how are you doing? Joe Swanson, what were you playing? Let's go check this out. Hold on. James Hook. The inconceivable James Hook. Ooh. My friend, this looks like a little bit of a uh, little bit of vats right there. That's some fallout. So you were just chatting. How's everything going? James Hook, thank you so much for the follow. Joe Swanson, thank you for the follow. I greatly appreciate that. Ooh, what gun is that? That looks nice. Just an offline raid to boost your energy. Dude, thank you for that. I really appreciate it. Um super super appreciate it. Thank you very very much. I hope you guys are doing great today. I am doing significantly better than I did after I broke my wrist a number of years ago. But suffice it to say, I broke my wrist on a Sunday afternoon and did not have it in a cast until sometime... I think it was either Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. Um, the, the receptionist at my primary care physician actually told my doctor, you probably want to have him get that x-rayed to be on the safe side because the doctor thought that, oh, it's just sprained. You're fine. You can move your hand. All your fingers move. You're good. You're good. But the receptionist who was familiar with what a four-wheeler was and the kind of damage it can do to one's person was like, no, 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 no. You should have him go get an x-ray. So I went, I got an x-ray and um, called back the end of the day. They were like, well, because we haven't heard from you or we haven't, we haven't heard from the, the radiologist a little radiation never hurt anybody. Just ask the ghouls in this. Just ask the ghouls. Also, I really kind of like the gas mask and hat that I'm sporting with this. I have the Silver Shroud coat. Who doesn't like a good trench coat? I mean, seriously, who doesn't like a good trench coat? Neo? Neo thought trench coats were pretty damn awesome. Neo had the quintessential trench coat in The Matrix. So yeah, Sunday broke my wrist. Wednesday morning, finally had it in a cast. And it was a cast from the fingertips. And I could actually still move my, I could still move my thumb. So I could actually still kind of hold a pen because that was going to be a big bummer if I couldn't do my job. And it went all the way down to about here. Um, there might be a mod to get Neo's coat. That would be cool. That would be very cool. I'm having a little bit of a cold. Haven't worked this week, so many live streams to watch. Revis, that's awesome. Kick back. Enjoy, my friend. Um, take time to enjoy yourself. I I think you should do that. It is, however, unfortunate that um, that our, our good friend Sonny Von Cleveland um, has been too busy doing way too many other things to, to stream and whatnot. Um, yeah, so I had broken it on the four-wheeler, and this was, like, years ago. I want to say it was, like, 2002, maybe, by this point in time. Hey, Charlie. All right, buddy. I was an exterminator, that's right. I am on, uh, I'm on the console. I'm on the PlayStation 5. So I'm somewhat limited for, um, various different mods, like... I'm limited with Skyrim mods. I can't get the cool stuff. If I was on Xbox, I would be able to get Cathedral Ceiling. And that would be nuts to get. 
So yeah, I had my x-ray, they said it was sprained because I could move it, and they showed my knuckle was not where it was supposed to be, and not straight because my stupid self decided to keep taking off the key. You kept on taking off the cast? I'll take a look, sure. <laughs> Such a cool movie, The Matrix. Uh, am I the only one that have thought of dodging bullets like Neo did? Dude, to dodge bullets like Neo did... Charlie. Oh, he doesn't have anything else for me. I wanted the coat. I, I wanted the coat. That's what I wanted. But one thing I do have to dig out, I have the Elder Maxon battle coat. Believe it or not, I do. I've also got a pirate coat. So they're around here somewhere. I do have to dig them out, and I will most assuredly be digging those out. Uh, so it was broken. The doctor said it was a sprain before the x-ray. Yeah, that happens. That most assuredly happens, and it's not good. All right, so she's singing. Um, where do we have to go next? I don't even know. What's back here? Who are these guys? Oh, that's McCready. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. Winlock and Barnes. McCready is actually. McCready's one of the better no-nonsense followers in this game. Thinking about getting Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch, not sure if it has mods or not. I don't know if it does. Why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? Winlock, tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. I like McCready. Um, he's a, he, he definitely is a no-nonsense follower, and he's one of the more uh, ranged-oriented followers as well. Glad to have disappointed you. <laughs> you can play the tough guy all you want. All right. We hear you're still operating inside gunner territory. All bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Barnes. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. <laughs> you hired gun. Then maybe we can talk. Yep, hired gun. Absolutely. Is it just me? Or is it getting saner and saner these days? Skyrim on Switch has no mods. Also, SnowRunner on Switch does not have mods. They are working to bring it to Switch. King Trucker, little bit of beans. Down the pipe. Sounds like you can handle yourself. But I worry about those guys throwing a wrench in the works. If you're worried about Winlock and Barnes, don't be. They couldn't kill a squirrel with a rocket launcher. And what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? All I can give you is my word. And All right. Bunch of caps. Those are good. Caps, huh? Okay, Hotshot. That was pretty good. Two hundred and fifty caps up front. Thanks for letting me. Yeah. No room for bargaining. Very cool. Very very cool. Everything's negotiable. Would you take two hundred? You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> an extra gun. All right, boss. Let's get out of here. Send Kate to... Where should she go? Uh, the castle. Although, talk to McCready. Hey there. Ready to head back out? Ready. Good. So now we're going to talk to her again. Uh, so my research had led me to finding no Neo outfit, but the closest thing I've noticed to the Matrix-style clothing would be the coarser... Oh, good point, good point. There's a Link outfit for Skyrim if you have a, um, a Link... Oh, one of those goofy things? Dude, <laughs> that would be actually pretty awesome. All right, we'll send McCarth uh, McCready to the castle. McCready's actually a really good uh, follower, but I'm going to hang with Kate because I've already got her equipped with stuff, basically. Sit on the couch. Couch, sit on the couch. No. Um, okay. So we now have another follower at our disposal if we need to use another follower. 216, thank you very much. Um, but in my opinion, Skyrim is worth it on Switch just for the fact that you can play it anywhere you take this. That is a good point. That is a very good point. 
Lurk away, my dude. Um, lurk about for a while in Skyrim. The murder lizard has disappeared into the sh <laughs> murder lizard. That's kind of funny because we are McMitten's the were kitten. Um, good point. Good point. Rutger Hauer, Rutger Hauer definitely had the look of a courser in Blade Runner. You're not wrong. That's a very good point. Uh, what happened to my friend that owns the Banshee? We were on an ATV trail uh, that my grandpa was named after, and he was going down a hill, hit a bump, fell off his quad, yeah. shake and bake, and put his wrist out to stop himself from hitting the ground wasn't pretty. Ooh. Dude, that's rough. That is so rough. Uh, quick save. We're going to quick save, and we're going to talk to Magnolia again. Let's see what she has to say. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. Okay. Oh, we're not going to be able to make this. Music. Uh, persuasion attempt failed. Oh, well. So... What we're going to do is we're going to load that one back again. And we will potentially... Like, we could do stuff to get more charisma. But we'll come back to that. The line from the Matrix movie, Mr. Anderson, is tucked away in my brain. That is something that I don't forget ever. No, uh, the way that he said that, the way that Agent Smith... Also, before I forget, um, well, my, <laughs> hell's my brother Od uh, may Odin and Thor guide you. Yes, indeed, my friend. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Joe Swanson, thank you for coming by. Thank you for rating. Thank you for following. Because we are, we are on a path. We have set forth a path. We are on the road to 1K, and however long this takes is however long this takes. <laughs> like, like me over here. I'm in such a big rush, all right? <laughs> I am awful. All right. Um, Why don't we go back to... So where the hell is Kendra? I don't know where Kendra is. The murder lizard is hidden in the shadows, but is still about. Going to the store? All right, King Trucker, take care of yourself. Uh, no rushing. Don't rush. All right. Who goes there? U.S. Covert Operations Manual. And it's covered in blood spatter. Kendra is at the nearest McDonald's. You know what? I do want, I do want a quarter pounder. A McRib? Uh-oh. Oh, man. Okay, it is dark. Holy moly, it's dark. Thankfully, we weren't far on the trail and went up the hill and took a right turn, went about half of a mile and ended up at the road. I didn't realize we were in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Uh, the, it, 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 it got dark. It definitely got dark. So I do have a couple of mods in this and, uh, they mess with the weather. They definitely mess with the, the, the weather. It's the realistic weather. No Russian? No, like, no. Come on. No, no, uh, no motivating really quickly. We're, we're on a, we're on a mosey, all right? We're gonna mosey. All right, weapons. What weapons would we like to get rid of? Um, let's throw that. Get rid of the silver submachine gun. I don't like these things. And why, oh, why am I sitting on way too many pounds worth of gear? You get it now? Okay. Carol. Black vest and slacks. 
throw that. Combat armor pieces, military fatigues, patch three-piece suit. All this, uh, so the silver shroud armor only weighs seven. The hat weighs a half a pound. The murder lizard has vanished. Speaking of my grandpa's trail, I haven't seen his sign in a while. So he's got actually a specific sign out there. Are those new slacks? No, they are uh, well used. I took them off of a corpse. So we're down to 151. Reinforced combat armor chest piece. Combat armor chest piece. So that's... No, we can store that. We don't need that. Yeah, I don't know why we have multiples of this stuff. Are they from Caldors? Sears, actually. They're from Sears. Um, I had gone from Kmart to Sears because they didn't have the signs that I wanted at Kmart. 216! Alright, transfer... That's for garbage. Let's get some garbage out of here. You skipped dinner. Why did you skip dinner? Store the dirty water and the gourds. I do not want gourds. Don't want gourds. They're down to 138. Uh, potted meat. Get rid of that. Purified water. Half a pound apiece. Razor grain. Get rid of that. Salisbury steak. Squirrel on a stick. That, um, the murder lizard has disappeared. Uh, work now. <laughs> Family guy joke. If you get it, you get it. <laughs> uh, kind of trapped here. I gotcha. I gotcha. Ammo. Inventory. In inventory. Inventory. I don't think we have... So I'm down to 135, so that should actually be right around. Okay. A wild Kendra has appeared. We haven't found a wild Kendra yet, unfortunately. Okay. A couple of those. And I don't think we have... Yeah, we can't make anything else. I don't know where the Kendra is. The Kendra eludes me. Pikachu, I choose you. Uh, how about... Oh, good. Our... My bed is free. Usually, there's always someone sleeping in my bed. And I don't know why. It just always happens. And it's one of those things. It's just... It's not acceptable. Want to know something interesting? I always would like to know something interesting. Uh, this is the place to go if you want to tell interesting things. All right. See, there's Mama Murphy over there. She wants me to give her drugs. I'm not giving Mama Murphy any drugs. And what time is it? It is 6 a.m. After my uh, grandpa passed, the ATV club he was part of put a sign up on a trail to dedicate the trail in his memory. I can post a... Dude, yeah, absolutely post a picture. Hell yeah. Some Yu-Gi-Oh cards I have right now will skyrocket in price in a few years. Really? Now, are they, like, super, super rare, or why are they going to skyrocket in price? Um, back to the map. And let's go find where... That's Nordhagen Beach. Go find Kendra. Kendra, where you be? Because you're stopping me from... Kendra is preventing me from... Remember, kids, don't do drugs. Be like Murphy. Do chems. Base cards, and because the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! sadly passed away... I didn't realize that. So the creator of Yu-Gi-Oh! passed away. Huh. All right, so where is, hold on, local map. This is the local map. Now, 
Where is Kendra? I don't know where Kendra. Bobby's place. Warehouse. The murder lizard is hidden. But it shows... Uh, crap. So there's nowhere else to go. Let's find out. See, that's what we gotta get. We need power armor and we need a rather large uh, rotating barreled cannon to send lead down range. That would be ideal. Uh, funny thing is, uh, funny thing, one time I was playing Skyrim and I bullseyed someone right in the nose and I wasn't even trying. That is a good shot. That is a very good shot. Usually, so, <laughs> I, oh, who's, who's shooting? So, here's the funny thing. Um, I think Kendra is in an apartment uh, building near, yeah, I think so too. So, I reset my bow and arrow skill. And I am doing like no damage with arrows, and is the it is probably the most non-intelligent thing I did in the entire game. All right, so she's to the south. Okay. Why is there gunshots? Uh, you know what? There is one thing that is basically the same as cheesecake for Danish. Ooh. Uh, that's a super mutant. A Danish would be wonderful right now. I'm also such a nerd that I took the time to learn the Dova language. But it's gotta be a fat- Yes, it has to have, like, plenty of stuff in the middle. You're right. You know. So, how difficult is the Dova language to actually learn, though? All right, there's, there's gunshots somewhere around here. I don't know what's going on. I attributed that to my autism. That's all right. I get screwed last time. No cheese center, just plain... Oh, dude, that's that's unacceptable. Oh, what is going on here? Uh-oh. Ow. Oh, this, this hand cannon. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. A little bit hard, but I listen to the main theme with lyrics and pronounce it vocally. Yeah, it, I, oh, man, I like the main, oh, that's a legendary raider right there. I like the, uh, the main thing. I really, really like the main theme to Skyrim. It is something that I listen to often, different versions of it. It's just that good. Oh, critical strike. And I know the English word as uh, well to where I hear it while speaking the Dova language. Okay. Oh. Boy. Uh. Kate, you gonna help me here? Streets of White Rock. <laughs> um, Two dollars. Absolutely unacceptable. If I could just have a bowl of that. Oh, yes. You'd be in Valhalla. Unyielding synth right leg. Plus three to all stats when you are at 25% or less. Um, the soundtrack. It's it's a good song. Um, the, the Dovakin song. It's really fantastic. It, it really is fantastic. Like, the main theme. Fun fact, did you know that in the olden times, taking an arrow to the knee meant getting married? Yes. Yes, indeed. Uh, 
What just happened? Take those stim packs. Thank you very much. Do -do 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 -do. Where the hell? Where did these guys come from? That's another legendary raider. Oh my goodness. Oh, she just iced that dude. It's called shooting straight, rookie. Does hold on. That is a legendary raider. And Kate just made it so we lost on the raider. Oh crud. Oh bother. <laughs> nice shooting text. Yeah, I know. I am an awful shot. Um, I find this a bit weird, but every time I kill a dragon and take their soul, I get goosebumps. Yeah, but why not? I mean, it, it's like, it's still a big thing in the game to do something like that. Almost as if I'm taking their souls in real life. Go with it, though. Just go with it. I, I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. So, ah, get out of my way. Keep your eyes open. I think there's assholes using a stealth pool. All right, so let's get up to the top of the garage here. They're up here somewhere. Scared, huh? No sign of them now. I don't like it. Come on, it's over. They must have run off. We can relax. Yeah, they must have run off, all right. Oh, there they are. Okay. <laughs> Did I not kill her? What happened? Ah, darn it. Oh, she just jumped over the edge! Commands are cool. Yeah, I mean, it, it it gives a little bit more flexibility as to, like, you know, the murder lizard has skulked away, never to be seen again for now. Yeah, that's all good. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Discord is lovely. Guess st <laughs> Storm going to be called Stormtrooper of Iron. You are back. Did you obtain what you needed to obtain? Uh, hair trigger combat rifle. We don't want that now. Anything else? Nope. Okay. We got up a little bit on the high side over here. Alright. So, where to now? Oh! Bottle caps. Nope. Nothing good there. Nothing good there. Ammo, flame or fuel. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, I know where we are. I know where we are. Because we've been in that cemetery before. And you get laundry stuff? Okay. Is that the... Hold up. No, that's not the... Oh, oh, oh. Damn it. That's fine, though. Acceptable. Uh, funny thing is I actually have a massive collection of caps in real life. Over 5,000. So you're going to be all set when the... Um, when the when the, the vault tech comes a calling. So we'll, we'll, all, we'll all come to you. We'll all come to you. Oh, crap. That was a, um, that was a knee-jerk reaction. I did not expect a feral ghoul to be right around the corner from me. <laughs> oh, man. I like
like this game. This game has gotten infinitely better since I'll, my, like, my initial playthrough of this game. That noise. That noise, okay. Um, I already have the date marked on my phone, and I'll be around in 2077. <laughs> okay. Oh, this just goes over here. Okay. Nope, that's fine. 1023-2077. Gotcha. Mark it on your calendars, people. All right, let's see if we can find this apartment. Uh, that guy did. Looked like a scientist, at least. So... We're going to find whoever it is that we have to find, which is Kendra, I believe. And then from there, now leasing, what is this? So this is the Water Street Apartments. You'll be 68 in 2077. Um, okay, no, I think this is where we need to be. Okay. And afterwards, let's go see if we can get that X1 power armor. Because I kind of want to check that stuff out. I want to see if I'm actually able to not die fighting some robots. And it's supposed to be slightly cooler tomorrow. 83 degrees tomorrow. Oh. Eight! Uh, what was that? A yellow trench coat. Okay. Uh, blood pack. The squirrel bits. We don't want those. B70. 70, 71 technically, but still. Yes. Acceptable. Entirely acceptable. All right, let's fight our way up to wherever the hell it is we have to go. Scared, huh? you should be. Automatic combat shotgun. Taking that. I do wish, however, the leveling system in this was a little bit more like Skyrim where you actually get levels and stuff by doing stuff. The murder lizard has Gosh. vanished. Oh, that was a dumb door. Are you kidding me? Nika Fernandez. Absolutely, my friend. Thank you very much. It is getting hot in here. It is it is getting fairly warm in here. Oh. That guy had grenades on him. And there's also glowing fungus over here. We're gonna take that anyways. Oh. Uh there's this. Whoa! That blew up. So we gotta get in there. Apparently. These things always have, like, really, really useful crap on them. Oh, hello. Gotcha. Fusion shell, uh, contract. Leave calling card. Automatic combat shotgun. Taking that. Do you value having a good shoulder? <laughs> um, did you know, following Skyrim lore, anyone who has a cat technically has a Khajiit. Wait, really? Option. Well, assassinate. 
Somebody else. Okay. Um. I'm gonna take anything that's like not nailed down over here. Like go. Bowl of cereal. Oh, you know what? We're gonna sleep in this bed just just for an hour. We're just gonna sleep in the bed for an hour because we kind of don't want to die. Um. Let's see. Inventory. To miscellaneous contract. We need to find the contract. Uh, cats are Khajiits, just born under a different moon. Same with saber tie. Okay, so that makes things infinitely weirder. Um, because in Skyrim, my Khajiit wears a saber cat skull. So, yeah. Contract, Sherry. T Why can't we read this contract? Data. Uh, wait, nope. Silver Shroud, optional. Listen to the Silver Shroud station in Good Neighbor. Trying to get over there. Um, uh, not weird at, at hell. Look at, uh, Cubone and where's his mother skull? Hey, Echo Spark, what is going on? That is a good point. Uh, although Pokemon are definitely a little bit on the weird side. But, you know. That doesn't work. How is, uh, how's everything going? What is good, my friend? So, optional. Assassinate. Kendra and her goons have been dispatched back to Good Neighbor and Kent's radio station to learn what's next. Uh, show on map. So, where is... Listen to Silver Shroud. But where's, uh... Where's the optional? Piper's office, Kendall Hospital, oh, oh, that's over here, uh, over here is Shelly Tiller at the National Guard Training Yard, okay, no, that we can do, that we can most assuredly do, cap stash, gonna take them. Rag mines, we'll take those. Uh, Tim, f uh, time for a weird Pokemon fact. Did you know, statistically speaking, the Pokemon Vaporeon is the most compatible Pokemon for human breeding due to its endurance and water absorption ability? Was not aware. That is a very strange tidbit of information. Um, not really sure that particular scenario entered my mind. Um... <laughs> but hey man, whatever floats your boat, dude. We don't judge here. We don't judge. We're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Where's this elevator go? I don't know where this elevator goes. Doing well playing Dishonored 2, Death of the Outsider, playing the final chapter of the game. I think I'm near the very end. Okay, so Echo Spark. If you're on Dishonored 2, how is the original Dishonored? Because I actually have that. I downloaded it on the Xbox, and it's stuck in my brain, so now you are cured with this knowledge as well. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> it's one of those. It, it's like it's like listening to a Katy Perry song and then not having it be able to get out of your head for the rest of the day, so. What's going on here? Ooh. this uh okay but uh beard oh this is up on top okay 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 i gotcha the murder lizard strikes again then disappears okay that's fine Yeah. 
<laughs> Got him. Uh, but where are we going? A hunting rifle. Ooh. Take some wine. Are you enjoying my goofy antics? Uh, you know what? Honestly, any time that we get to learn something, played the original, enjoyed it, but never finished it. Not sure the story really grabbed me, but Dishonored 2, in my opinion, was awesome, which is why I'm playing Death of the Outsider. It has been really good. I would really like to play Dishonored. And I do have it, and maybe potentially one of these days, it will it will definitely wind up on stream. A playthrough of that will probably definitely wind up on stream because it, it's supposed to be a fairly um, rich story type game. Oh crap! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh, bother. Kate, where are you? Where are you, Kate? Panic. Panic ensues. Because it's a rabid mole rat. Because that's exactly what I need, is a rabid mole rat. Oh. Oh, crud. Ow. Ow. Oh, can I not even hit the broadside of a barn? Oh, 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 bother. Bother, bother, bother. <laughs> Uh, I am currently stuck on a loading loop with Skyrim. I operate train. Uh, but also you were saying my connection was lagging. No, honestly, I think anytime someone brings information, whether it be lore or any kind of relevant information about video games, we're all about it over here. Impact. Double down on a stim pack. Oh, it killed us. Oh my god, it killed us. That is unfortunate. That is a crying shame. Where is it going to put us? Is it going to put us at the... Uh, oh, dead. D-E-D, -E -D, dead. Um, oh. Oh, okay. We're all the way over here. Um, I thought it was going to put us outside. Apparently not. So you know what we're going to do? Let me change some weapons here. There is the automatic combat shotgun. We have 235 rounds. Gonna get the business end going here, right? Good night, Storm of Iron, everybody. I will try lurking if I can. No problem, dude. Have a great night, Cryptid Tales. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it, as always. Um. Wednesday nights we're not around because I try to do things like, you know, errands and stuff that I can't typically do during the uh, during the week. Any ideas on how to fix my load screen loop? I don't want to uh, lose this build. So, a load screen loop, you're kind of limited as to what you can do unless you... So, you're on the PC or are you on the console, though? That's another question. Xbox One. Um, what happens? So, can you can you go back to the Xbox main screen without quitting out of the game? Is that an option on the Xbox? Because I'm not sure. I know the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation Five are capable of doing that. All right, so we're here. Let's quick save. And we were trying to get back to Good Neighbor. We found some stuff. Got him. Take 
that stuff. Anything there? Uh, no more Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones? Yeah, I can load back in, but it's still the same loading screen. Uh, Storm, I'm not feeling well. Sorry, I'm going to sleep. Buenas noches y gracias por el stream. Take care and good night. Nika Fernandez, take care of yourself. Get some sleep, please. I hope you feel better very soon. Why is my face kind of... Kind of green-ish. That's fine. Um, of course it's fine. I have to lose this build. It'll just be another three-hour trek getting the Infinity Stones. Damn those Infinity Stones, my friend. Yeah, what's up with the camera? Let's configure... Configure some video ration. That. That. Uh, started watching the new series and felt tempted. So I have never actually watched the original Game of Thrones. I made it like one season. And it's kind of funny because I have met Hafthor Bjornsson, who does play uh, The Mountain. Oh, yeah. No, I am I'm not like a big Game of Thrones fan, believe it or not. Hold on, I got to do something here. That's weird. I don't know what that's about. Oh, you know what it is? It's the reflection of the... Oh, I know what it is. It's the reflection off of the TV. Onto my face. Uh, one is literally in the Soul Cairn, and it takes legit about an hour or so. You know what? I haven't been to the Soul Cairn yet. I haven't been to the Soul Cairn. All right. It was down... Here? All right, so that's that. Speaking of the Soul Cairn, did you know that a character that is from Morrowind is in the Soul Cairn? Which uh, which character in the Oh crud. in the Soul Cairn? How can I not? Uh. Sentinel Synth's chest piece. Okay. Oh, duct tape. Uh, Nika Fernandez, thank you so much! Take care of yourself, okay? Get some sleep. I like Game of Thrones overall. The Hound was my favorite character. The scene with the Hound and Araya at the inn with the King's Guard is my favorite moment of the series. So awesome. The Dark Elf you meet when you start the game. Interesting. Alright, so we gotta... How are we getting back to... Oh, man. Like, what is... Oh, crap. Hoi. That thing is not friendly. That is also a dead big dude. Uh, no game deleted needed. It fixed itself. I had a weird situation where I ended up... Um, yeah, it it gets kind of wacky. The, the whole thing gets kind of wacky. So what are we doing here? Oh, no. We're all the way back here. I used to be an adventurer like you. Vlad! My dude! What is going on? How are you this evening? What's shaking, dude? Oops. So we got to try to loop around. Um, let's try to find our way back into Good Neighbor. Because that's pretty much going to be the only place that we're actually safe from being, like, straight up murdered. By murdery things. Doing great. It's the Vlurd. Uh, crud. I don't know where we are currently. No idea. All right, let's see if we can travel to... Yes, we can fast travel. Um, 
what are you guys doing? How's everything going? Yeah, I was I was not a Game of Thrones fan, but the funniest thing about it is I have a signed pop figure from the mountain. I was learning OBS. I like OBS. I very much like OBS. OBS is very, very, very straightforward. Um, it's all... It's... Meet with Hancock as the Shroud. Okay. That, but I also have to figure out where this other dude... Oh, that's right. No, we wanted to go to here to get the optional assassination. Gonna have to eat every... Uh, every chicken in this room, the hound. I don't know what context that is in, but that is wacky stuff right there. Um... Funny thing, I once shot a giant in the... <laughs> Hit him in the Ghibli bits with an arrow. <laughs> Alright, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna save, because we have a bad habit of not saving. Also, Vlad, what do you think of our fun little... thingamajigger? This little... This little, this little guy right here. You like? Eh? Pretty slick, huh? All right. Who was right? All right, let's go to the... Let's go there. National Guard Training Center. National Guard Training Center. Um, And then from there, I'm not exactly entirely sure where we're going. But we'll be going somewhere. It's dark. It killed him, thus proving something in my games I play. Ghibli Bits shots are one-hit kills. Storm, that scene stands alone. You can watch without much context of what is happening in the rest of the series. Okay, okay. Uh, side note, did you know that I was an adventurer once until I took an arrow to the knee? Means not a literal arrow to the knee, but was their way of saying getting hitched or ball and chain. Actually, yes, we covered that, believe it or not. Lad, I'm not feeling well, and thought the fire-hot spicy ramen would be a smart choice. That is never a smart choice. Never, ever, ever a smart choice. Alright, let's go to the National Guard training yard. Which I kind of feel was loaded with ghouls the last time. That road to 1k is epic. You like that, right? And it actually is dynamic, so it changes as things go. The Hound's Punch could probably knock out an ox. Uh, so much so that once I made a build centered around just Ghibli bit shots only. <laughs> Where is... Oh. Hello. How do we get up there? All right, we got to get up there. Up, up, and away. Uh, that's right. We're back here again. Oh, God, not these jerks. Ugh! Hit him! Hit him! Well, you're naked. That's because I took all your stuff. <laughs> it cleared my thread for a bit. Backfire, yes. Spicy ramen. I'd shoot a giant in the Ghiblis for some spicy ramen. Yes, indeed. Um, Vlad Tepes Dracul, shave your beard and I'll trust you. Until then, stranger danger. I did cut your... Wow. Okay. Um, not gonna lie, I kind of enjoy just popping these dudes, just like that. Who are you? <clears throat> Some very bad people may be coming. It's not safe here. Please, don't come any closer. Um, I'm sorry. All right. Fun fact, did you know the Ebony Warrior quest was not found out until 10 years after the game released in 2011? Um, get rid of split ends. Okay. Yeah, split ends, they're a nightmare. All right, so we have officially completed that bunch of stuff. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to Good Neighbor. 
Um, because potentially they don't want to murder us in Good Neighbor. But we gotta go talk to Hancock. All right. State Farm. State Farm is there. Uh, the quest starts, yes, you have to be at a very high level to be able to even have the Ebony Warrior show up. I do like being able to, like, legendary level up a bunch of skills. But the thing about that is, um, man, does that put you behind the eight ball. Really puts you behind the eight ball. Inventory, 199. So we've got some stuff to sell, I guess. Don't worry. I only tell. I've got a few Harder. to browse. That quest starts at level 80. It, it, it is kind of cool. It is very, very cool, actually. Selling the laser pistol. Short hunting rifle. Pipe. Snub nose 44. Get rid of that. Um, let's see what else. No, we're we're good. Except, okay, no, that's good. Um, fascinating man, Ernest Hemingway. Ernest Hemingway was a weird dude. Put a retirement party on for a coworker day, so you're beat. Was it what kind of party? Big old shindig party on Wayne and party on Garth. Hey, All right, you. let's. Stories. Head up to uh, Salem sometime. Take the scenic tour. <laughs> okay. It, okay. That's. I'll do that. That. That's fine. I suppose. All right. Um. Our Fahrenheit. Whatever the hell a Fahrenheit is. And that's a bunch of drugs. Tells me. Some costume freak is operating. Good neighbor. And the kicker is, it ain't me. How should I feel about this? <laughs> this neighborhood is ill. A GTFO uh, party, of course. Hell yeah. Priceless. Like the good people, sad to see her go. Yeah, it's always rough when the good people, um, people. tend Fashion to retire. I respect that so far. But I gotta ask one freak to another. Why the get up? Um, Many I'm just going to keep speaking as the Shroud. 20 years. Shroud. Not going to question my train. I got no breaks. That's acceptable. Long time in government. Vlad is just Sea of Thieves. No, that is Hancock. And once you get, if you actually kill this dude and take his coat, it is one of the cooler items in the game. Uh, I mean, in the best way possible, like, run while you can and don't look back. Left alone. He will be judged for his crimes. Trust me, he needs a lot of judging. Got a lead on Born Ernest Miller Hemingway, son of a physician and a musician, reasonably uneventful childhood, decided to study journalism, enlisted with the Red Cross during World War I, Got blown up in Mulan and spent six months in hospital with severe shrapnel in both legs. Fell in love with a nurse and they decided to get married. Getting rid of Sinjin helps you too. Let's just get more caps. Okay. He's gonna throw us some caps. Hancock is actually a really great uh, companion follower as well. All right. So kill smiling Kate. Kill Northy. And uh, we get nobody else to kill. Okay, so we have two targets to kill. I don't know where. Let's find out. Oh. Elect assassination payment. Oh, okay. Nordhagen is there. Um... Bolt 95, Somerville Place. 
till north. Okay, we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got we've got some ground to cover. I love reading the letters between Zelda and F. Scott Fitzgerald. Uh, Relic is not feeling trolly right now. What's up with that? Uh, he went home to prepare. She stayed and hooked up with an Italian soldier, which started a whole thing where Ernest Hemingway rejected women before they could reject him. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, um, we never got to the building over here that would allow us to get the X1 power armor. Uh, it is basically 9 o'clock at this particular point in time. And it's probably not a bad time to wrap things up because we're in Good Neighbor. We're not wandering around in the middle of nowhere. We aren't basically ready to get jumped by super mutants or death claws or even feral ghouls, which is kind of a good thing. I had to trim my mustache too. Was so tired of it going in my mouth when I tried to eat. Yes, that is the worst thing. He also shot himself in the leg while aiming at a shark also ripped a skylight out of the roof and smashed it on his face, thinking he was flushing a toilet. Yeah, like I said, Hemingway, weird dude. That's all I got to say about that. But... Why don't we go find out who's out there this evening? Oh, you know what? Ender, um, you know what? Crispy Gaming. Crispy Gaming is a good dude. He is playing... No, actually, he just wrapped up. Crap. My bad. Dude just wrapped up. So there is that. Um, Every time I hear Fitzgerald, I think of Edmund Fitzgerald. What was the name? Was that the name of the boat? That was the name of the boat that went down in the, in the Great Lakes, right? So, why don't we, because there does not appear to be a ton of people on currently, our good friend Caddix is playing Hunt Showdown. That is a wild game. That is a very wild game. So let's go on over. Let's check that out. Caddix is a good dude. He's a little bit less PG than I am. Um, Lake Superior. Yes, James Hook, thank you very much for that. Also, James Hook again. Uh, thank you very much for the follow earlier. I really do appreciate it. Everybody who's been hanging out this evening, everybody who's hung around, everybody who's put their feet up and just kind of goofed off and had a good time, thank you. I have someone for you to check out. Ah, oh, crap. I already did the raid thing. Um, Vlad, make sure I get that for next time, and then we will check that out. But for now, I am not around on Wednesdays because I absolutely, um... Oh, 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 okay, okay. I'm not around on Wednesdays. Wednesday is my day to do chore type things because I actually need time during the week to do those. And if you do look into in case you want to read, yes, we will do that. So guys, thank you very much. We will be back on Thursday. Chances are it's probably going to be some more Farm Simulator because you guys seem to like Farm Sim and it's a very chill game. And I dig that vibe. Been trying to get stairs to snap in V80. Oh, <laughs> enjoyed it. Thank you for the stream storm. Guys, thank you. Have a great night. We will see you Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll do it all over again. So for now, take care. Ta-ta.